The state revenue for April came in with more than $2 billion ahead of expectations, leaving the governor to continue to fight for tax relief as gas prices rise with inflation. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has what lawmakers are saying. It's been a back and forth for weeks here at the State House when it comes to tax relief. And although the House budget did not include any tax cuts, the Senate President said she's now open to the idea. Governor Baker has been advocating for his tax relief package, totaling $700 million since he filed his yearly budget. You know, the, the tax number in April, if you just take the overage uh, above expectations, that would fund our entire tax proposal more than once. I mean, we have the money to do this. We should do it. Up until last week, both the House and Senate have been keeping tax relief just out of reach. However, Senate President Karen Spilka has recently changed her tune. Because of the extremely high April revenues the state saw, Spilka now believes Massachusetts can balance current investments with tax relief for the people of the Commonwealth. Although the House did not pass any tax relief measures in their budget, the House Speaker is expecting to have a conversation with the Senate President regarding tax relief measures after the Senate budget debate. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.